Around two years ago, I put out a short documentary called Why We Create, which looked at the people behind aftermarket games designed for retro consoles. One of the folks who participated in that video was Matt Phillips, developer of Tinglewood. The game released later that year to rave reviews. So why exactly are we talking about it nearly two years later? This is Retro Impressions, Tinglewood the OST. A couple of videos back, I discussed the Hyperdub by Analog along with the brief history of physical music releases on the cartridge format. For the Mega Drive, the first known release was Today by Australian artist Freeze Dream in 2010. Incredibly, one decade later, his next standalone album for the Genesis has released, and it's called Tanglewood, the original soundtrack. I placed my order when pre-orders went live at a cost of £30. Now, if you're interested in the game alone, it's £54, and owning that may be enough for most consumers, but more on that in a minute. The cartridge arrived in a nondescript white envelope and was well packaged. The card itself is contained in a Big Evil Corporation branded red shell, giving it a distinctive look from what one should anticipate with an actual game cart. There is not really much else to say, so let's check it out. Upon booting it up, you're greeted with the Big Evil Corporate logo, and then the background from the sound test menu found in the game itself. If you were hoping for some sort of special music visualizer, as has been done with other releases, prepare to be disappointed. In total, there are 26 music tracks containing around 35 minutes of listening time, and it's all quite good. It advertises itself as Tanglewood the original soundtrack on a physical Mega Drive cart, and that's precisely what it delivers. So what differentiates this from what's found on the game itself? That's a great question, and the answer appears to be nothing at all beyond a cleaner arrangement and an uninterrupted listening experience. When you really compare the two, it's apparent that they both use the same background, same sound test music player, and appear to have all the same tracks. Not surprising considering that this is the music from the game. The OST has added a clean track listing from 1 through 26, including each track's name, but that's all you're really getting. So if you're getting the OST with the game and this is the OST without the game, then who exactly is this for? Well, I think that's clear. This is for individuals who are into chiptunes, and video game related music, but might not be into this particular game. In fact, I think it's safe to say that there's a subset of people who will find this very appealing, even if they may not be interested in Tanglewood itself. If we look specifically at vinyl, we can see that the market for this stuff is alive and well, often selling people on great music from games they might never have played or have no intention on ever touching. So while the number of individuals who are interested in dedicated albums on a cartridge format may be dwarfed by that of vinyl, it's still refreshing to see someone take a small risk in creating something unique and releasing it to that market. For around half the cost of Tanglewood the game, the music has been made available without having to shell out additional funds for the complete package. Taking an existing game and separating out the music onto its own dedicated cart is something we've never seen before. It's a fascinating and possible game-changing concept that if followed up by other individuals could see a plethora of new albums released in physical format for a number of classic consoles. With companies like Pico Interactive and MegaCat Studios dedicating substantial resources to these systems and new aftermarket games now appearing on a regular basis, it seems like the opportunity has never been better to further this small subset of obscure cartridge-based album releases utilizing new and classic games alike. That's it for now. I've left links in the description so you can check out the new Tanglewood OST project. And until next time, thank you for watching Retro Impressions.